my name is urvashi agrawal and i welcome you all to today's session it is called making the most of your manupatra subscription and rightly so because more than often we notice that our users don't even use half of the features that manupatra offers so we decided let's put an end to this and let us move on from just using manu search and taking out judgments there's a lot more that you can do with your manupatra subscription and let's find out uh, what all is there so uh, while our last session covered all the basic features of how to use manupatra how to do manu search what all we have to offer etc this one will be a comparatively deeper dive into manupatra's features so we did a prior session to this and it was about all the basic features of manupatra and it is available on youtube in case you missed it however uh, no worries uh, it will not have any impact on we what on what we discussed today and one more feature uh, that i one more thing that i would like to talk about before we begin is that uh, as we will be going through this session and as i will be walking you uh, through different features of manupatra and an, a new question will be answered a question that has uh, started coming up to us very recently is that can i do my legal research using chat gpt i won't have to say anything after the session the features that i'll show you today will be an answer in itself i will not need to tell you after today's session you okay this is why chat gpt is not the answer for legal research legal research is a whole different thing and you need dedicated tools like manupatra to do your online legal research you simply cannot rely on chat gpt so on that note let's dive in let me uh, share my screen with you all and i will show you what uh, the advanced feature that i'm talking about can everybody see my screen this is the home page of manupatra okay great okay so when you land on manupatra this is the home page you reach and this is what you call the my home so first of all let me show you that manupatra is not just about judgments this is something i keep on repeating people think that it is only for judgments while you can do a lot more here for example even about judgments on the left hand side while most of you know that it does only supreme court and high court judgments we also have all the judgments from all the tribunals and commissions like armed forces tribunal cad copyright board drt everything all of their orders can be accessed through here second of all we also have a dedicated international database you can access judgments from more than 25 ports and fora uh, on manupatra itself judgments from africa australia judgments from us uk then dedicated arbitration authorities like arbitration council of cambodia wto arbitrate arbitrators decisions everything can be accessed from manupatra now we have a dedicated section called the business and policy or the industry module section here in what we have done is that we have uh, did, uh, divided our content in various topics so if you practice in a particular field all the information that you might need in relation to that field is available under one heading for example let me show you the forex and banking section so if you are into the forex and banking section if you work in that field everything that you need to know about this section all the acts rules and regulation the banking ombudsman scheme the drt orders the discussion papers foreign exchange management data rbi reports anything and everything that has to do with this topic is available here so we have similar ones for competition laws for employment laws all the labor related service related data is available here if you are into mines and minerals real estate is a very emerging topic if you have anything to do with real estate all the relevant information can be accessed from here then we have a dedicated one for the people who are practicing tax so whether you are practicing direct tax indirect tax gst vat all of it is available here you have this gst and vat section for example and gst is something where every single day something new is happening so all the notifications and circulars any uh, information that is coming in the forms of acts orders even ordinances all of that can be accessed from just one single section which is this then in india let's just uh, i think we'll all agree on this fact that notifications and circulars that are issued by the government are very difficult to find especially the ones that are issued by states 
and then the ones which have some archival value which are not very recent they came a few decades ago they came a few years ago it is a major task to get your hands on them so but with your manopatra subscription you can get access to all the central notification uh, central government notifications whether no matter which ministry they are ministry of railways home affairs defense all the central government as well as state notifications are available under manopatra now coming to the section which we all use every single day which is the bearat section however you will see that how uh, reading a bearat on manopatra is different from reading a bearat somewhere else so first of all we have two sections we have central as well as state bearats available here now if i click on the central section something like this opens so for the ease of the user the bearats are not just divided chronologically but they are divided alphabetically subject wise ministry wise and industry wise as well so if you are practicing in one particular industry or if you are practicing on a particular subject of law all the acts that will be applicable on you shall show up here so i'll show you for, uh, apart from that we also have a dedicated section for the acts that have been repealed the statutes that do not uh, apply anymore but they might be of relevant to somebody who has a very old case running or something so you can also find all the repealed acts and statutes here apart from that any amendment which is brought in a bear act is done through amending acts and statutes so there is a special dedicated section for the amending acts and statutes as well so let me show alphabetical section that how is it different how is uh, reading a bear act on manopatra different from the this section so this something like this opens when you open the bear act section alphabetically you can choose to view the acts on a particular letter or all of the acts so and as you can see there are a number of uh, small icons available in front of any act let me just take you take the example of a random act so this one this is the cinematograph act of 1952 so you see there's an underline under the name there's a plus sign and there are certain visualization tools or icons as you call them if you click here you go reach the act directly not a problem you see here you can choose to view and read any section and not just that when you open a section of uh, any act on manopatra your screen gets divided like this and on the uh, top half you see the uh, language of the bear act and in the bottom half you directly find judgments as well the judgments that pertain to this section of this act and even here you can choose to filter if you want to view judgments from a particular court so this is the first difference second when you are reading an act on manopatra clicking on this plus sign gives you uh, access to all the amendments that have come in this act in just a single click for example from the first amendment of 1953 to the latest one that came in 1984 all the amendments that have come under this act are accessible from just a single click you can click on any of these and go read the whole statute from here moving on uh, you can re- choose to read a bear act in multiple languages here for example this one is also available in hindi and marathi the second one is when i was a student i really wanted somebody to give me information uh, very easily i do not i did not want to go read through very longer sections and i just wanted somebody to give me a summary so if you see this icon you can click here and you can choose see choose to see annotations summaries of what a section is all about you do not need to go uh, skimming through pages and pages because let's be honest but honest bear acts are not easy to understand especially when you are initially uh, just uh, gone to college and you are in the first few semesters you it, uh, some of the bear acts will go above your head you will not be able to understand so this section is very helpful and it tells you what a section is about you do not need to uh, rummage through pages and understand try to make sense of it now the three of my favorite features compare as in the section of bear acts are first one is the small parliament looking icon so if there is a, this icon in front of a bear act it means uh, that a bill pertaining to some section of this act is pending in the parliament what it does is it helps you make an informed decision it just in case you are using going to use this uh, act you are going to use some section of this act you are, are aware that okay something is pending let me just check and how do you find out that which section exactly it pertains to so when you open the bear act 
you will see small brown flags here so a small brown flag in front of a section means that uh, something a bill or something pertaining to this section specifically is pending in the parliament and i need to be conscious of where and when i use this the second one which i like to show is this small clock looking feature if you click here this is called the legislative timeline or the act timeline this gives gives you a bird's eye view of what all the amendments have been about so in in very uh, crisp form you get information about all the amendments that have come till now for example this amendment it was brought in on this date and it amended sections 1 and 8 it also inserted section 2a simply the next one for example the 18th december 1981 it amended so many sections and it also in inserted four sections so this is a very quick uh, view for you on uh, various sections and various amendments that have been brought in and it's very short information very helpful but short now more uh, the, le the next one which is uh, the code guidelines so what do we mean by code guidelines uh, many a times what happens is Uh, that the court issues guidelines in relation to a law in relation to act and it is done through judgments so there are multiple judgments which exist uh, wherein guidelines were issued and uh, they became the law on that particular topic so in this case what happens is if you click on this icon if there is any judgment wherein guidelines have been issued by the supreme court and uh, they pertain to this act you can come here you click on the name of the judgment and you do not need to rummage through the whole judgment you can find the guidelines directly you can go through these pdfs you okay these are the guidelines that were issued by the supreme court pertaining to this uh, pair act so if you see uh, this icon in front of any uh, pair act it means that supreme court has issued guidelines so, uh, they have something to do with the guidelines and something was issued in this a uh, pair act regarding this pair act the next thing is that people who are, uh, we have a lot of professionals here we have a lot of practicing advocates in today's audience so uh, all the updated court fees court forms and court rules because you won't be able to tell how fast the court rules change how fast the uh, court forms change every other day there is some new court rules especially especially at the high court level even if you can keep a track of the supreme court once you also have a lot of amendments coming in the high court so this section of our website is updated very regularly all the court forms all the court rules can be accessed here they are divided on top you have the supreme court and then you have all the high courts listed here and you can find very good information very relevant and updated information about all the court forms court rules etc apart from that obviously for students and everybody we have a lot of academic ebooks we have that sections dedicated to dictionaries maxims and multiple ebooks now now that we have seen the bear act let me show you the feature which has been the talk of the town since past few months i would say the citation search and to be specific the neutral citation supreme court has been putting so much importance to neutral citation these days and rightly so it is doing a lot of uh, good work for example what so what is neutral citation let's just talk about that first neutral citation will be issued by the court itself for example as of now the citations are given by publishers themselves and there is no uniformity in this the judgments published on manopatra have a different citations the judgments published in air have a different citation and there are hundreds of publishers in india and across the world so it uh, creates a lot of confusion for example when you are in a court you are you take out a judgment but the judge does not have that same publisher and you cannot be taking out your phone and researching at that moment right so uh, this will help in reducing all of that ambiguity no matter which publisher whether national whether international will have the same citation the same citation will help you find a judgment in every uh, publisher in every website so let me show you how it works as of now of course the supreme court and some high courts like allahabad andhra pradesh delhi kerala punjab and both the benches of the rajasthan high court these uh, are the courts which have started issuing neutral citations already and all of these are available on manopatra you can access through neutral citation till now supreme court has issued from the year of 2014 till today the judgments that have come in the last 9 years the neutral citations for all of them are available 
so let you can choose the year from the drop down and if you know the page number very good otherwise there's a drop down for the page numbers as well you can choose to uh, to view any of these and you simply click on search and you find the judgment directly k pradeep versus jaya amma and others it's a 2017 judgments and you also have the equivalent manu citation on the left so uh, this is a very important and very helpful feature and we are uh, happy to announce that all of these are available they are very recent but they are all available on manupatra for supreme court as well as for all the high courts now apart the regular citation search that we use manupatra has more than 350 publishers listed here and you can access all of these from manupatra you don't need to go to their individual websites or individual uh, subscriptions jcr jkj lw criminal everything so let me show you how is a citation search performed here for example i have a manu citation with me right now so it's manu it's a 1997 judgment and very uh, important when it when we are talking about uh, gender justice and sexual harassment at workplace i think uh, it's very obvious by now and all of you should have guessed give it judgment we are talking about if not just in case then let me just give you to the quote supreme court judgment of 1997 supreme court and the page number is 0786 and the famous judgment of vishakha and others versus state of rajasthan you can click on the citation and it will lead you to the judgment this is a landmark judgment about sexual harassment at workplace now coming here this is how a manupatra judgment looks like this is what happens when you open a judgment on manupatra now as you can see there are a lot of tools available and a lot of uh, hyperlinks and everything so this is what make reading a judgment on manupatra easier but before we dive into that just in case you want to access the actual copies true court copies of the judgments are also available directly from the every single judgments page every judgment has a print replica button and you can click here and you can access the true court copies from here now these are the tools and these are the links let me show you so first of all here you see the citation if you click here you can find all the equivalent citations of this judgment here as well whether it is in air ilr scc everywhere where this uh, judgment has been cited all of the equivalent citations are available in fact now when you print a judgment from manupatra all the equivalent citations are available on top so even if you or have one uh, publisher and the opposite party of the opposite council has a different publisher or the judge has a different publisher you don't need to go hunting the same moment you because your print out will have all the equivalent citations on top then coming uh, to this part you have the court you have the case number you have the decision date then you have the honorable judges in quorum section means if you all these judges names are clickable and you can choose to uh, read judge more judgments by this judge uh, simply by clicking on their names if you click on any of their names you will be taken to more judgments delivered by these judges similarly there are some very famous lawyers like pali s nareman mukul mudgal tr and yarujina so you can click on any of the counsels names as well and read the judgments where they were counsels and where they were from the plaintiff side or the defendant side all of these uh, lawyers names are also clickable and you can go read more judgments where they were parties apart from that you can obviously see that this judgment pertains to the subject of constitution and criminal then all the acts rules and orders no matter which statute if it has been mentioned in the judgment you can find it here and then there is a special section called the relevant section how is it different from the one on the top is that while the above section shows you all the statutes that have been mentioned here the bottom section the relevant section specifically shows you the sections which have been discussed or have been talked about are of slightly more importance or are in the issue in this particular judgment so these are the ones that you call the relevant section then this this is what you call the citing reference section any judgment which has been discussed in this particular judgment will be available here so for example in this case 
it is the neelavati behra versus state of odisha judgment and it has been simply discussed here had it been affirmed there would have been a dedicated section for affirmed had it been uh, dissented then there would have been a, an underlined word called dissented so here this has only been discussed so you can simply click here and all of this is hyperlinked every single thing you see here is hyperlinked which means you can simply click on the citation and it will take you to the nilabati behra judgment also you don't need to go looking for it separately you are reading a judgment a relevant judgment has shown up you simply click on the hyperlink and you reach that judgment then there's a short case note of course apart from that uh, what happens is all of these words and all the pair acts for example whenever you are reading a judgment a lot of statutes and sections and pair acts are mentioned you might not be knowing all of them and for example it's a very obscure act you ne- you don't have access to it then what do you do you don't know what this section says it has been mentioned in the judgment but how do you find out what it says so all of these sections that are mentioned for example here it is article 32 article 191 article 14 all of these are hyperlinked as well you can click on any of these and it you can go read that statute directly no matter which where act which section which your all of these are hyperlinked and you can go read all of them directly from the judgment page itself now moving on this is a section which is called the important para or the m para so uh, this is very helpful when we uh, talk about citation and everything so this is how a window opens when you click on the important para section on the top half you on the right hand side you see the judgment on the left hand side you see m para which means the important paragraphs these are the judgments which are, these are the paragraphs of the vishakha judgment which are cited very frequently by other courts so you can click on any of these and you will reach that paragraph in the vishakha judgment directly so this is the paragraph this is the paragraph it, it will take you to the paragraph which is cited frequently directly and it also shows you the judgment which cite this paragraph for example the international conventions and norms are to be read this is the paragraph which is on the right side and it has been mentioned in charo purana and the other one which is the kesoram industries if i click on either of these on the bottom half of the screen that judgment also opens so it is very uh, easy to do a comparative read and a comprehensive study all at once on the top half you have the current judgment on the bottom half you have the judgment that mentions this judgment and on the left hand side you have access to information about all the important paragraphs that are there apart from that there's a section called cites and cited by so this is the section cites for example we all know that vishakha is a very uh, frequently cited judgment however if vishakha itself is referring to a judgment then it might be more helpful for me it might be more important for me so i come and see ki okay it is the nilavati behra judgment and uh, it has been cited in manopatra more than 850 times while the vishakha judgment was 579 times so both of these are equally important and i can use either of these now coming to the cited by part this judgment this vishakha judgment has been cited 579 times and i can access every single one of that judgment from this list whether it's from a high court whether it's from a supreme court all of these judgments can be accessed from here and i can simply see their names anup baranwal gale india aureliano fernandez all of these judgments can be accessed from this page then the next icon is what you call this cited in para judgments cited in para if you want to know where exactly uh, a vishakha has been cited in any case so you simply uh, see this and what happens is ki if you click on any of these judgments you will reach the exact paragraph where vishakha has been cited for example it's i RTI Foundation. It's the Secretary Tamil Nadu. If I click on any of these, I can go read the whole judgment, and I can also choose to view the paragraphs. If I click on the uh, under the citation underline, it is hyperlinked. It takes me to the whole judgment, and if I click on the plus sign simply, it opens the paragraph for me, which mentions or discusses Vishakha. So it helps me in doing a very comprehensive study. Very. Uh, relevant study all of the information which i need to know about a particular judgment can be accessed from just one single page the judgment page then 
this is what you call the interactive timeline or authority check for me it has been my favorite ever since i started using manapatra as a student and at that time interactive timeline and authority check were two heavy words so i would simply call them green dot because this is what it technically does it simply gives you the green light that okay this judgment is good to go this judgment is a uh, good law so when we say good law we mean that this judgment is okay to be used in front of the court and it has not been uh, overruled it has not been dissented from anywhere so i can simply view this section and all of these circles mean they show me how a judgment has been treated here i can choose to view this for the all 579 judgments or i can choose to view this for 5 10 20 or 80 of these simply i can also choose to uh, view only the judgments where vishakha has been mentioned or i can choose to view only the ones where vishakha has been relied on and uh, wherever i go it shows me information about the judgment and i can choose to go read everything is hyperlinked here as well i can choose to view any of these judgments and i can read all of them and it is very very pertinent information when you are uh, deciding to refer a judgment to the high court for example if i do dissented so you see there's only one circle when it comes when we choose dissent and it is some random court very in 1998 it is not a supreme court dissent had it been the supreme court in a later judgment this judgment would have been considered over up uh, overruled and it would not have been good law had, had there been a red dot in this line anywhere then this, this judgment would not have been good law for me to use so this green dot the interactive timeline is a very very relevant feature apart from that you obviously have the uh, basic the save once the sticky notes the mail yourself things so moving on let me take you to the legal search yes there is more than manu search available here and this is the legal search and here i will not take much of your time and show you everything i specifically want to uh, show you two things which is the direct tax search and the gst search life is so much easier with these features at hand for example you are a direct tax lawyers or for example you are reading any judgment and don't you wish ki okay aisa ho ki whatever judgment i am reading it should be in my favor so you can do that you can choose to view judgments only where the disposition disposition in favor of the assessee or in favor of the department whoever you are representing you can choose to view judgments which went in favor of the assessee so now what will happen is that your search results will only show you the ones which went in favor of assessee whenever you are reading a judgment you not, no, don't need to worry that okay what will happen in the end and you can also choose to view judgments from a particular act so for example or a particular section so let's just say income tax act of 1961 okay atg is very popular let's do atg now i have selected atg and i have selected disposition in favor of ssc So now what will happen when I click on search the judgments will only be the ones that have been favor of assessee in fact you can also choose to view judgments from a particular assessment year if something major had come in that particular assessment year and you want only those judgments which came so you can choose to view that as well so now as you can see we have 1145 judgments they specifically pertain to ATG of the income tax act and all of them went in favor of the assessee i can open any of these and i can be sure ki okay it is not absolutely against me it might not be very relevant but at least it is in favor of the assessee and i can start skimming through it now as i said the gst search so the gst search lets you search as per goods as per services and as per issues as well for example you work with a very dedicated goods for example if you search normally search for something on gst you will run into thousands of results but you work in a very dedicated industry for example you work in the advertising services you can choose from the list of goods if you want anything or you can also choose from the list of services so for example you work in the advertising services kit industry and now when you click search the search results will only have judgments that relate to gst in the advertising services industry and see how filtered the results have gotten only 11 results have shown up which means i don't i have removed so much clutter just by using this feature another uh, part of the gst search which is helpful is 
that for example you do not uh, uh, you are not choosing a particular code or you are not choosing a particular service however your issue pertains to something particular whether it is about cancellation of registration under gst whether it is about arrears whether it is about applicability of gst so you can simply just choose to view judgments about a particular issue now i have, I have not chosen anything else but i have chosen the nature of issue which is about cancellation of registration under gst and i click on search and i see all these 159 judgments relate to my issue which is the cancellation of registration under gst life is sorted with this now the last thing which i would like to show you all before we wrap up and uh, you know uh, take start taking questions or something so this is what you call the legal analytics feature again i will not waste your time showing you search analytics for this i will show you the advanced judge analytics and uh, people who are practicing people who are practicing advocates this is very helpful for you so this is a list of all the judges you can choose to view all the supreme court judges or the judges from a particular high court as of now we have not selected a court so we are seeing all the judges now i can choose to view any judge for example let's say any judgment any judge you take for example arijit pasayat okay so what happens is as of now we are seeing only basic information ki okay these are the number of judgments that they have written these are the judgments number they are cited in etc etc not by fancy however moving on now uh, where is the helpful part why is it called the advanced judge analytics you click on a judge's name and you get information uh, uh, access to such relevant information and such helpful information that your life as a litigation lawyer becomes very easy so whenever you click on a judge's name something like this opens okay so first of all on the left hand side you see how many judgments they have authored and how many times they have been a part of the bench not authored okay good second one how many judgments they have pronounced subject wise for example justice sikri pronounced 86 judgments on criminal law 50 judgments on service law what it does is how is it helpful it gives you an idea of how good the hold of a particular judge is on a subject of law for example if there is judge, i have a criminal case in front of a new judge and i see that they have covered more than 100 judgments already they have given more than 100 judgments already on this particular subject of law so i obviously need to well, we obviously need to be well prepared all the time but when we have this information we will put in some extra effort ki okay this judge is very good at criminal law and i need to you know be at my best knowledge and be very well prepared similarly for counsels appeared before judge bench okay so for example instead of just a sikri we had taken some sitting judge okay he is still there and you want to hire a senior lawyer to want some you want to hire a counsel to appear before this judge okay so you come here you see okay these are the lawyers who keep appearing in front of this judge very frequently so if i hire somebody from uh, these people somebody amongst these people then uh, i might have a better chance because they know ki what a uh, kind of arguments what kind of uh, uh, judgments what to uh, do in front of this judge how to deal with the, this judge so it is obviously good for you when hiring a senior counsel or when hiring a counsel to appear before a judge you can make a very informed decision using this feature similarly you have a disposition wise judgment pronounced ki uh, when you are going in front of a new judge for example you have no idea how they tend to do so you go disposition wise judgment pronounced for example it gives you an idea that okay i'm going there and okay this judge has dismissed a lot of petitions so i need to be very focused and i need to be very well prepared i i should not give them any reason to dismiss my petition or for example it's a tax case and you see ki okay most of their cases go in favor of the assessee and i am on the department side so i need to be well on my toes and i need to have very good arguments prepared second of all the judge cited part whenever you are citing a judgment in front of a judge you need to know ki okay of course all the supreme court judgment are you know hold very much value and of course they are all relevant and very important however if you are going in front of a sitting judge and you see this graph judge cited okay this judge mostly refers to judgments of jc shah bpg van reddy arijit pasayat okay so 
it gives you an idea ki okay this is these are the judgments that work in front of this judge so i should also take judgments from the same judge as you can see justice sikri has referred to judgments of justice sinha more than 200 times so why would you not take judgments of sp sinha of course you will because you know ki okay these are very uh, reliable for justice sikri and he refers to them again and again and this will help my case this again makes your life easier again helps you decide what judgments to take and then for, these are the judges cited by of uh, these are the judges that cite justice sikri judge cited by means justice sandeep sharma justice p s tejji justice vivek singh thakur these are the people who cite justice sikri's judgment so if you have your judgment in front of any of these judges you know that okay. they refer to justice sikri's uh, judgments repeatedly and i should also take this for example if i have a matter in court of justice sandeep sharma who has referred to him almost 400 times then it will be very good for me if i take justice sikri's judgment to their court it will be it, my chances are very high that it will be accepted as a good argument and last of the two sections are judgment pronounced citing reference ki how many judgments uh, how many times their judgment have been affirmed discussed and dissented in the supreme court and on the right hand side how many times they have been affirmed discussed and dissented in the high court this gives you a complete uh, information about how a judges uh, writing and citations and subject wise behavior normally uh, tends to go and it helps you make very informed decisions and helps you prepare your case very well so this was it from my side when it comes to manopatra using manopatra just one more feature i would like to show before we start taking questions which is the articles.manopatra.com which is a portal a dedicated portal to anybody who wants to write whether you are a lawyer whether you are a student whether you uh, work in a law firm we have a dedicated section and you can write as much as you want it is absolutely free of cost you simply need to sign up here and submit your articles you can uh, get published on manopatraarticles.com and uh, you can you know just simply start writing whatever topic you interest uh, interests you we have no bar and we would love to publish your articles so please write now i would stop sharing my screens and let's see if anybody has any questions okay so the first question is ma'am can you let us know where it will be shared yes it will be uploaded on youtube audible okay what the chat is disabled the question can we avail these options for bangladesh are the circulars notifications from bangladesh government authorities included in manopatra system okay so the manopatra database team i will uh, ask the bangladesh team to get back to you on this and i'm somebody from the bangladesh team will be very helpful I will be happy to help you i will just note your name and i will ask them to reach out to you thank you so much हिंदी में मीटिंग नहीं होती है क्या सर अगर इफ इट इज अ डेडिकेटेड अगर हिंदी में एक डेडिकेटेड मीटिंग चाहिए अगर और भी लोग हैं तो हम एक बिल्कुल हिंदी में भी कर सकते हैं और मनोपात्र हिंदी में चलाने में सिखाने में हमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हम एक अलग से सेशन हिंदी के लिए बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है अगला सेशन हम कोशिश करेंगे कि हम एक मनोपात्र सिखाने का हिंदी में रखें कुड यू प्लीज अगेन एक्सप्लेन द मेथड टू गेट ऑल द डिफरेंट साइटेशन ऑफ वन केस Okay, Nidhi. So, uh, whenever you open a judgment on Manopatra, on the top left side, where the citation is given, Mano, SC, etc., it is simply clickable. You click on the citation, and uh, it will uh, take you to a new page wherein all the equivalent citations are visible. Could you hold a session on moot court competition and how Manopatra can help in the moot court research? We have videos available on this on our YouTube, and if you would like, we could totally uh, plan something like this on the uh, moot court competition thing in future as well. No problem. Please show an example of and or not example, uh, men profits and rent, not damages. Yes, of course you can do that from the Manu search only. You type men profits rent. You do the and feature, and it works. It, it is very. It works exactly like you've typed. So it is. It is very easy. It is happening from the Manu search. If you would refer to our old YouTube video, the, the last one, the last session, it is available. Are notifications and circulars uploaded on real time basis, like on same day or very next day? 
the central ones yes they are updated updated very frequently as soon as they are published like in a day or two the state ones take a slightly more time but not very long time but the central ones definitely updated very uh, frequently second nikhil um, what is the price of the manopatra subscription for personal use this is something for the sales team to answer and i will ask them to get back to you not a problem but it is very affordable you can start using it yearly subscriptions come very cheap not a problem the alerts email has bugs okay sir take note of we'll do it we'll get it fixed i'll con- part convey this to the concerned team uh, through manopatra can we get access to state specific rules yes sir there's a uh, right where the bear act section is uh, in that only you have rules also you can access state as specific bear acts rules all of this would there be also availability of notifications issued by state governments pre it uploading methodology yes this is one of our usps you can have access to very old archival uh, notifications which are not easy to find of course it is not an exhaustive database when it comes to state notifications but it is a very huge database and we are still trying to build on it every single day and you will uh, find many many old uh, notifications circulars everything and it is still being updated every single day so yeah even if they were printed 40 50 years ago they are probably available on manopatra you can simply check must have men profits must have rent or does not have damages yes sir this is a uh, you just have to you know type men profits select the and feature it is it is doable from the manu search if your uh, issue still remains you can write to me at uagrawal@manopatra.com u a g r a w a l @manopatra.com and we can do a one on one session for you that is not a problem whether notifications of ap i am assuming it's either andhra pradesh or arunachal pradesh but we upload both of them all the, all the states are covered and all the state notifications are or taken care of so again and i guess this was the last question for us any more questions a fresh question this sounds like a good time to wrap this up and the uh, youtube recording will be uploaded very soon like in a day or two and uh, you can act, go to our youtube channel subscribe and we will also send you over mail people who were not able to attend people who have attended and want to revisit anything and everything all of this will be available in youtube and you can access that thank you so much for being here and uh, thank you see you again